here. We're going to talk about the market for two minutes here first, and then, then I'm going to go talk about the presentation that I prepared today. Okay. So I just want to tell you, tell you that I was doing stuff today. Do 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 do. Was doing some cleaning and some organizing, some paperwork, and then I saw that, and then I was getting ready for the for the webinar, and I saw the market. And I was like, what the heck happened here? Because the market tanked this afternoon. I was like, oh, something must have happened here. And the funny thing is, I didn't go long this market today. And I talked about it in the trading room, which I actually taped. It's on, it's on YouTube if anyone wants to go to my YouTube and stock swish and listen to it. I said, I know we're up today and I, I know that we're up, but I'm, it's, this is not like 100%. And yes, we could continue. And I said, I'm just going to wait on this here. I'm like, I'm not convinced. And then I, and you know, I had no good reason for that other than instinct and intuition. And I think this is what comes with doing nothing but one thing, which is reading price action and gaps. That's what I do. And that's what we're going to talk about in the webinar tonight for 12 years. You gain a sixth sense. You gain an intuition. You gain something that, to be honest with you, I really sometimes can't explain. But anyways, long story short, we went long Apple today. It worked. But we could have gone on the market. We didn't. And I did not know the market would do this today, but I didn't have confidence that the market would follow through. Anyways, if you don't know this already, if you haven't Googled or put the news on in the last hour and a half, at the very moment that this tanked was when the state of California now is back under quarantine and the governor had a press conference. So that collapsed the market. And so the market actually gapped up today, held steady until that news, and then tanked. And we're probably going to sell off here some after hours and probably going to sell off here in the, in the after hours and tomorrow morning in a, in a gap down, which I don't know where it'll be. But this is, you know, this is what I do. I read price action and I predict where it's going to go next. And today's prediction for me with the market was that this would not follow through and it would not hold. I did not know that it would collapse today, and I did not know it would collapse in this manner this big today, okay? But I really didn't think it would hold and follow through for this week, okay? So very interesting, and again, we're living in crazy times here. Um, you know, you just can't keep people locked up in their homes for the rest of their lives, so it'll be interesting to see here what happens. All right, now we're gonna start the webinar. Everybody with me? Let me know if you can see the slide now. Beautiful picture of New York. Happier times. Can everyone see the slide? Hello, am I talking to myself? There's Samir. Samir's there. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not talking to myself. Oh, you can't see the sign? Is it no? Can you see the sign or not, Samir? Should I reset it? Okay, today's lecture is about how you can earn $400,000 a year day trading. This strategy, which is gaps, and quite frankly, I'm saying $400,000, but really you can earn way more. Uh, there are some students with me that are over, have earned over 400,000 year to date so far and it's only halfway through the year. So the, it's only a function of what you're risking per trade as far as how much you can earn. You have to have a strategy that has a high win ratio, which I do, and you have to understand the strategy. Like it, it, it's critical, I think, to really understand what's going on as far as price action goes in a chart is something going to be moving higher. Like for example, the market today, like I just talked about that didn't have any follow through or something going to be moving lower, okay? We went long Apple today, that worked, that moved higher, that was a good trade. We did calls in Apple, it was a really nice trade and we went long and it was a day trade, okay? So I'm looking to trade options and do day trades, which are equity trades, both. The system that I teach in a class, and the class for this month is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, teaches the system, teaches the strategy. You can use that strategy to do many different things, swing trading options, trading, day trading, 
whatever suits for you. Some people with their time and schedule can't day trade in the room in the mornings when we do between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. Some people options are more convenient and some people don't even have time for that. They do swing trading, okay? So you can use a strategy for all of those things combined. If you have questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com and you can also call me at 929-3200-GAP if you have questions. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype, okay? So are you ready to go into the second half of 2020 and be successful, okay? Despite all the chaos that's going on around you, wherever you are, you have to think, what is my plan of action until the end of the year? And it's interesting because I said this in the training room this morning too, and I really, I was talking about it with my friends and family last week. I was off last week. I said, you know what? New York City is such a mess right now. I think I'm holed up here in my apartment pretty much for the rest of 2020. Like, and it's not just because of COVID, it's other things that are happening in New York. The crime rate is out of control. Um, but, you know, I'm like, okay, I, I know how to do this wonderful thing. I work from home. Let's think of the positives. You know, I can focus on making money this year in 2020. And so you kind of, you know, you have to take it for what it's worth. So if you're working from home and you know how to trade, you could take advantage of a situation that you might think is depressing or upsetting or negative and turn it into a positive. Use this year to make money for yourself. Trading, trading the market, okay? Really dig your heels in this year to get good at it and bank money because there's gonna be opportunity in the future, and particularly at least in New York, I think with real estate and many other places in the country too, big cities are gonna see huge drops and massive steeps in real estate pricing. So put yourself in a position to be able to take advantage of what's happening for yourself financially that you can really you know, put some gas on it this year with your trading. Um, Kathy, you can put my email in the room. It's melissa at thestockswish.com, Steve. Okay. Anyways, I trade the U.S. market, and how do I do it? Well, you need a system. I, need, I have a system, you need a system. One of the critical ingredients to being successful in the market is to have a trading system. Without this, you will get up every day and not know what to do or when. The nice thing about what I do is, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, but when I get up, I figure it out in the pre-market. Then I know. And many days I do different stocks. Like, we're pro I'm probably not gonna do Apple tomorrow, but I did Apple today. Every day is different. I never know until I get up and look at the pre-market, okay? <coughs> Thank you, Kathy. Tons of people fail all the time trading because they have no system whatsoever to follow daily. I have one system, and it is the only one I follow. And I created it myself, which is how I know it so well. And it's based on shorting stocks at Gap in the first 30 minutes of every trading day. Now, I say that cautiously because there are some days where there aren't any good shorts, and then we will go long. But I prefer to look to the short side first. And that means shorting stocks or even doing puts. Like today we went long, as I was saying earlier, but that's because there wasn't any good shorts. So the best play today was a long and it was an apple. But it's really about doing one thing and nothing else, nothing else at all, okay? One thing and one thing only as far as the strategy. And not only that, I think you, you can excel and take more size if you're even more invested like in one particular stock. So you just go full on with it. And I, and, and I like to do that. Like it, for me, it just helps me focus. I'd rather take size in one play than do like 20 different trades in a day, okay? So that's just the way that I look at it. Unless it's a day where the market is power trending, whether it's up or down, then I may do several trades all together in one direction. But it's really only when I have a power trending market, which is rare, okay? Anyways, one strategy is all you need to be successful in the market. You do not need a general overall broad-based view to make money. Tons of people have broad-based knowledge and they fail all the time. This doesn't help you make money. Becoming an expert in one thing helps you make money. It's how I have become successful. And this, for me, it personally did not happen overnight. You need to know that. I. I took me about three years to develop my system until I figured everything out. And it, it was a long, long three years. But then after that, I really never looked back. And as time has gone on, I've, imp I've improved, okay? And over the years, I've increased my risk. 
You can trade my system with a beginner risk. You can take 100 share lots if you want, okay? You can take one contract of an option. Nobody said you have to take advanced risk, okay? And if anyone has any questions, just plop it in the room too as I'm going along. <laughs> Anyways, what do I do? I do gaps. That's it. It's all that I do. My gap system is powerful because it identifies fast moves that occur in the first 30 minutes of the trading day and also long-term moves that can be captured with swing trading or options trading. Like I said, I like to do both. My system is based on stocks that are gapping. So, stocks that gap in the morning have big moves and often a clear directional bias that gives knowing traders how, if you know how to play it, it can give you a real, real edge. And I'm looking for momentum. I'm looking for volatility. I'm looking for stocks to move, okay? Like Apple today, for example, opened and rallied to the dream target, ran up to 400, okay? Opened, I think, around 388 and changed and ran up huge on the day. So that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Again, that was this example that was a long, but it's the idea that we're playing momentum, okay? As one individual trader, you've got to be in stocks that move if you're going to make money, okay? It's momentum trading. So what is a, a gap? A gap is a difference between the close and the open. Gaps are an event that happens every day in the market. Stocks that have post-market and pre-market moves that happen for various reasons, or even news, like tonight, like what happened with the market today. That was news, it happened live in the day. And like I said, now we're probably gonna continue to sell off tonight. Anyways, it could be news, it could be reports that come out while the market is closed. The next morning when the market opens, these stocks open at a price that is above or below where they closed the night before, okay? This means that there has been a change in price without anyone being able to buy or sell. This can create urgent situations for investors and traders. These gaps are best seen on a daily chart. I'm gonna look at a couple of those here. So this is one right here, this is the SPY. This is funny because I took this today at one 46. I took this a snapshot today, like it was on the 13th. This is what we looked at earlier this today. Look at that. Here, I'm going to just flip back to the chart so you can see the reversal we had. Just hang on one second. So this is the same chart. Look at that. I literally like clipped that right before we tanked. Does everyone see that? Look at that. This is the same day. This is this, this is the spy. Okay. So anyways, we gapped up. We closed here, gapped up, rallied, didn't follow through higher, which I didn't think we would, sold off, boom, okay? But this was a gap up, closing at one price, opening at a higher price. Here's a gap down, closed at one price, opened at a lower price. This is a gap down, which is back here late June, okay? So this was a put that we did. Again, I do options and day trades, and you can trade options as day trades too. Like we did that with Apple today where you get in and out the same day. Some days you hold them, but if they have a really big move, then you wanna get out of them with the profits. Anyways, this was back June 22nd at 11 a.m. I called the SPY puts, the 308 puts, and I'll go back and show you that chart in a minute. Cost was 370. 20 contracts cost 7,400, sold at 675, profit was 6,100. This is a nice, pro nice profit, 82% return investment. You could have bought two contracts. You could have spent $740. If you had, you would have made 610 bucks. So you don't need to spend this much. This is an advanced risk, okay? I'm just showing you this here. But now let's go back to the 22nd here. Does everybody see this? Closed here, gap down. Called the trade here. It didn't go immediately that day. It took a little bit. Here's the sell off here on the 24th. Do you see it? So that was a put. So basically it was a short. And it was a nice little one there. Everybody with me? So gaps are a specialized strategy. If you want to make money in the market, you need to think and act like a true professional. And I can't say everyone says, oh, don't be emotional. That's not realistic. As a human being, you have emotions. You're not going to not have emotions. That's not what this is about. Trying to act like a non-human being, you'll fail all the time. You set your parameters for how much money you want to risk. 
You set your parameters for where your stop loss is. You set your parameters for where you're gonna get out and that's all that you can do. Here, actually, I'm gonna show you another chart here. Hold on, I'm gonna go back to this. We did Tesla Friday. It was a beautiful trade. I, I really thought it was gonna to continue today, but, and if, if, if I had held it, I, here, I'll show you this. I called the 1420 calls. It, it, went, it went more than 100 points on Friday. It would have been ridiculous not to get out of it, but I really knew it was gonna to continue today unless something drastically happened to the market over the weekend. I felt a high, high probability it was gonna to continue today. The dream target was 1800. It did hit it this morning, almost 1794. But this open, this is completely insane. It opened more than 100 points through where it closed Friday that if you had stayed in the 1420s, like this almost went 400 points through where I called the trade. I didn't go look at the value of this today. I'm gonna to go look at it tonight. But it wouldn't have made any sense to hold this till Monday because this was a massive trade here Friday. Do you follow me? Now, if you took, I don't know, if you, you, could have, you could have gotten out of one and held one, I guess. If you took two or if you could have gotten out of, if you took four, you could have gotten out of three and held one. But again, to say, you know, to talk about emotions, you have to just set the parameters. The parameters are you get out when you're up 50% to 100%. This trade here was well more than 100%. So why wouldn't you get out? This was like a bazillion percent. I'm gonna go back and look at that later. But this is again the power of the gap. This is the power of momentum. I called this trade on Friday. Open here, rallied. Open up here, gapped up here, and then fell off today with the market. Does everyone see that? So these are gaps. But anyways, getting back to the emotions, you being a professional is just setting your parameters. To say that you're not gonna have emotions, it's impossible. It's very exciting to make a lot of money. If you did that trade with me in Tesla or the one Apple today, it's exciting to make a lot of money very quickly. You don't deny yourself the happiness of doing it, but you also, you can't fall into your emotions so much that you don't follow your risk parameters. Does this make sense? And some of you I know are guilty of that, okay? This is true even if you're trading part-time or full-time, it doesn't matter. You have to be professional about what you're doing. Make a trading plan and you just stick to it, that's it. You can still be pissed when you lose and you can still be happy when you make money, okay? Professionals have specialized strategy systems and reasons for taking trades, and I definitely do. So what are the benefits of trading gaps? Well, you can trade and make money quickly. I like that. You also can have big moves when you trade gaps, like I showed you in the Tesla, like I showed you in the SPY, okay? And what I look for is quality, 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 quality. I try to hone it down in one thing, one thing a day if I can. Okay, if I do a couple things, it's because we have the market with us. And this market has been choppy to say the least, not in the QQQs, but in the other indices and the diamonds and the spies. And why? You say, well, institutional money, what, that's what's really moves the market. And you have retail traders that have been buying it, but you say, okay, well, where do we go from here? A big flow of money going in a certain direction is what moves the market, stocks, and creates momentum and sets the trend in charts. When you're looking for institutional money, you're really reading the side of power in a stock. You want to be in the side of the power in order for you to make money trading. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. The sell-off that we saw today on that announcement when the governor came out was institutional money selling, selling out of longs. That's how you had that steep sell-off that went straight down, boom, okay? just completely fell off a cliff. Again, I'm pinpointing institutional money in the pre-market when I'm making my choices to go long or short. So here again is the SPY. This was another trade I called in the SPY on the Wednesday, okay, in the morning, 9.51. Called the puts again. Called the 308 puts. This costs now a little bit more, 520. 15 contracts, 7,800, sold at 920, 6,000, return investment, 77%. This is one that was on that day that it gapped down, that it had the follow through. I'm gonna go back and show you this here, the 24th. So remember I called these ones here, went up, then it went boom. Then I called this other one here, then it went boom. And actually this had some follow through too. See ya? Because that was out till the 2nd of July. 
So perf I prefer to short, as I said, although you can make money going long or short. I just prefer to short because selling happens quick. Why? Because panic comes in. That's what happened in the market today. That's what happened this afternoon today. That's what happened. When they shut down the state of California, then people panicked and they sold out of their long positions. And the selling happens quick and out of nowhere sometimes. And it's scary. But that's good if you're shorting or doing a put. Okay, a put is basically a short. It's just a different way to take the trade. Any questions here so far? Everybody good? So how are you going to find and pick which gap or stock to trade each day? I get up in the morning and I rate them. I rate them using a 26-point rating system. That's the system that you come and learn from me. That's the system I teach in the class this weekend. That's the same system that I personally do myself every single day, and I never fudge it, and I never skip it, and I never eyeball it. I rate every gap I do every day, and every trade I call, whether it's the day trades, whether it's the options trades, all of them. And that's the benefit of being in the trading room with me or being on the options letter. I'm rating them for you. I'm telling you this rates 20 points or more as a long or a short. And that's how I know to do it. And it, guess what? If I don't get any that rate, well, then we're not doing anything at all. And that can happen too. Now, that's not going to happen over this next period here because right now it's earnings season. The banks report tomorrow morning. And it's going to be a very, very busy season to trade with me. July and August is earnings season. Companies report their second quarter earnings, even though it's third quarter in the year. And again, it'll be very interesting to see what they are uh, reporting based on the COVID situation. Because remember, that was second quarter. And it's going to be second quarter earnings. <coughs> so it's going to be a it's going to be a great summer, really, except for the fact that we can't go outside. <laughs> Anyways, one system. That's all that I use using a twenty six point checklist. Okay. Now, here was another one here. We've done BA a million times, okay? This is Boeing. Stock gap down, rallied, and we did a bunch of trades in here to the short side. Day trades, puts. Here was one in here again that same day that we did the SPY. It was June 24th. We did the 182.50s expiring July 2nd. If you want to sign up for the options newsletter, this is the trade. You'd get the trade to your email, and you take it when you get it. The cost was not cheap. It was $750. 10 contracts, risk was $7,500, sold at $1,550, profit was $8,000. Again, this is a nice trade. 107% return investment. So I'm going to go back to that gap here in the Boeing on that day. And this, this doesn't even look like much. I mean, but it is. It's money. And again, it's just getting at the right time. This isn't like a, I mean, this stock can fall like, you know, $20 on the day if it wants. This is just like a baby move. And it was nice. Again, getting it at the good right timing, early enough in the day, getting the right strike, close tier gap down, boom. Okay. Any questions here so far? Again, this is a put and that was a gap. We also did, and sometimes I stack my options trades. We did the 180 puts, same day. These were a little bit cheaper. <laughs> this worked as well. Again, sometimes you can do something into the strike. Sometimes you can make money doing something that doesn't even have to go to the strike. That would have been the case actually with Tesla. Even you could have done on Tesla on Friday, if you didn't want to pay the cost of the 1420s, you could have done the 1500s. Now they ended up going through it, or you could have done the 1600s calls for Tesla Friday. If you didn't want to pay what the 1420s were, which they were expensive. Okay. As long as something's moving in, it's in your direction, like it's going to get there in the time frame fast enough, you can make money with an option. So I'm very good with this with the timing. Cost of these was 660, contracts was 12, risk was 7920, shell was 1360, profit was 8400, 106% return on investment. So again, I'm going back here. This was the same day. Same day we did the other ones, just stacked them. Okay. So that was a nice one there. And then I also called the 160s, okay? I called these out farther. Cost was way cheaper, like half the cost of the previous ones. 275, 30 contracts, risk was 82.50, sold at six. Profit on this was really good because it really ran that day and ran down and followed through. 9,750. And again, this is another good example where if you want to do something, and if I call the trade, you can do it at a higher strike or a lower strike to pay less. Do you follow me? 
but you're getting the benefit of me looking at it and saying this is a good gap based on the golden gap rating system okay any questions here so far I was having an interesting conversation with a student yesterday on the phone and he was saying you know all these things that I learned over the last umpteen years you don't use any of these things and I have to stop using them I said yeah I know but you have to stop using them a lot of educational trading places teach a lot of this stuff and then it becomes ingrained almost into like the trading society and people use them. They don't work to make money, but people use them anyways. And then they kind of cling to them like a, like, a, like a blanket, okay? Or like an umbrella in a storm. If what you're using doesn't work and doesn't help you make money, then you need to stop using it. So I'm very focused on making money. That's a benefit of trading with me, okay? So, you know, I'm doing something because I think it's going to make money and that's the only reason. So when I look at my rating system, I'm rating that gap because it, that's got to tell me that this is going to make money or it has what I call high odds. You know, when you look at trading, nothing is 100%, but you got to have as many odds in your favor as you possibly, possibly can because you're risking your hard earned money when you trade. So it's about odds. You want high odds when you do something. You don't want a 50-50, and you definitely don't want low odds, okay? If you want to make money trading, your time is limited. Gap set up and move quickly, we talked about that. Again, Apple luckily went today to that dream target before the market collapsed. Steve said, looks cool, thank you. So one of the benefits of gaps is you have freedom of time during the week, again, we're done early this morning, had the rest of the day to myself. Like I said, I didn't even go back and look at the market till later, till four o'clock, or it was like three something. So what kind of money can you make doing this? It depends on the size of your account. You need a minimum of $2,000 to open up an options account. You need a minimum of $2,500 to go to a proprietary day trading account. And you need a minimum of $25,000 to go to a retail trading account. So it depends on where you go, what broker you go to, and that is something if you want a referral, you can ask me. Or if you have an account, you're already aware of that. But I like to think of it like this. You break it down. Sometimes some goals can seem astronomical. Um, like if you're trying to lose weight and you say, oh my God, I have to lose this weight. Like I'm just gonna not eat anything for the next month and then I'll lose all the weight. That's not realistic. It'd be like risking your whole account and some big trade in the hopes that it'll work. And if it doesn't, then you're gonna lose all your money. Like you have to be normal about it. It's day by day by day. You get up in the morning, you exercise every day. So you get, be fit and you lose weight. You wanna make a certain amount of money a year, then you get up every day and you chunk it out. And that's how you do it. And I know everybody wants everything in this society. It's me, 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 I want it now, I want it yesterday. But that's not normal life. And again, it's not in anything that you have when you have a goal particularly if you have a large goal, like if you want to make 400 grand a year, or if you want to even trade for a living, okay? But when you break it down, then you say, well, wait a minute, this I can see is doable. So if there's 20 trading days, which are basically there is in a month, $500 a day, well, you can wrap your head around that. That's 10 grand a month. And even $2,000 a day, you can wrap your head around that. That's 40 grand a month. Wrap your head around the number by breaking it down and chunking it out by day and by week. Because it, you know, you have to get to a place when you say, okay, I can see myself making some progress here. Again, I'm going back to the thing where you're like, if you're on a diet, if you get up every day and you lose a half a pound, you get up every day and you lose a pound, you can say, okay, this is working. I'm seeing the, the curve. And in the case of trading, you want the curve to go up. It doesn't mean you're never gonna have a losing trade, but it means the curve should be increasing as the days and weeks and months go by where you're doing better, you're making more, your account is growing. Um, we, I look at the daily for the gap ratings, okay? As far as day trains, the one minute chart, Steve, okay? So it's important to get a plan of action together to win and to start moving forward. I think a lot of people waste a lot of time and never really commit to making real money trading and they really never get anywhere with it and they waste years and years and years and, and eventually do waste money and do lose money in the market and waste a heck of a lot of time. 
while there was a, like I said, it took me three years to figure this out. It seemed like a long time for me to do it, but really when you, when I look back, I think, gosh, you know, some people are trading longer than I'm even alive and they still don't have it together. So, you know, that three years, I guess, was a bl blink of an eye considering the information that I know now. So I'm grateful that I stuck with it and did it. But it's important to get somewhere with this. And that takes a level of commitment. It's getting up early in the morning. It's paying for a class like mine that costs $7,000. It's, it's getting up every day. Even if, you, even if you had a bad day yesterday, it's getting up the next day and going after it hard. It's sticking with your guns, with your risk. It's listening to the things that I teach, okay? Even if it seems like it's something that doesn't make any sense from what you knew before. Having an open mind, having a positive attitude, believing that you can do it, okay? Seeing the future that you can be successful, not that you're gonna fail like you have in the past, if in fact you have. So it's about learning a good system and having a mentor, a system to use to trade the market, okay? So one is about gaps that makes them so profitable. Predictable moves, fast moves, large moves, often several weeks of movement in 30 minutes, which is again, one of the things that I think makes them fun. Now, one of the benefits of coming to me and learning from me is I absolutely have a high level of intuition for reading price action in charts. This is across the board. It's the market, it's stocks, it's all of it. How can I call a call like Tesla and see that it's gonna to go to the dream target, which was 1500 in one day. How can I see that at 9.30 a.m. before it does it? That is 12 years of experience of doing nothing, nothing but gaps in every way, shape, or form, and a heightened level of intuition that I can read price action in live time. And really, that's what counts. So the benefit of coming to me is, one, I have a system that I follow and a structure. Two, I don't do anything else. And three, I have an incredible intuition, or really, you could call it a skill set, for, uh, for reading charts. I'm very good at what I do. And when I looked at the market today and the way that we closed, I kind of chuckled to myself. Again, we didn't short the market today because it gapped up, but I wasn't surprised at all that it didn't hold to rally through. So, you know, you will have the benefit of learning from me if you come to me. And if you join the trading room or you join the options newsletter, you will have the benefit of getting my calls and even if you don't understand everything 100%, you will see that the trades work and have the benefit of you know, my intuition by getting to be able to take the trades. So I teach a class, it's called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap System is a 26 point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade and when, all right? So it's about quality. It's, it's about playing the odds when they're high and doing nothing if there isn't anything where the odds are high. So it's not, again, you get up and you rate a gap and it rates 18 points. It's not 20 or more, you're not gonna do it. You don't have to have a 26 score. You have to have a 20 or more of the 26 scoring point. And if it's under 20, the rule is you don't do it, okay? So you do it when it's excellent, when it's high quality, when it's good. Then that's how you're gonna make money over the long haul. It's about consistency. Again, it's about chunking it out. So the system tells you how, when, and when. How do you make money in the market? You trade a strategy and system that is profitable. Golden gaps are a highly profitable strategy because they focus on large momentum to trade. What stocks should you trade? Stocks at gap and rate 20 points or more per the Golden Gap 26 point rating system. That's the criteria. And again, this is what I teach in the course in the weekend. You trade the gap in the direction of the gap. When do you trade them? We always get it in the morning. Okay, preferably early in the morning on the open or between 9.30 and 10 when they set up and trigger. And I teach three entries in the class too. You must have a structure in place in order to make money trading. I can't stress this enough. You're not gonna make money trading by putting a, a, a certain indicators on your chart. You're just not gonna. Channels and this thing and that thing, moving averages, you're not gonna make money using those. Okay, in fact, today, people lost money using those. You have to have the structure to make any money at all consistently. It is about the consistency that many traders lack in their systems, and that's why many traders fail. They do too many things all over the place, they're not consistent with one thing, then they never get conviction in it and confidence in it, they never get good at it, and you know half of them don't work anyways. So for me, it's just this one thing. This is the meat and potatoes for me, okay? The checklist. And I have this all prepped in the morning, like way before the open, okay? I get up early and I start rating stuff at 7 a.m. <laughs> okay, I like to take my time and look at it. 
It measures gaps for rating them in the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Number two, a big move on the day. Number three, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time and precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential. Okay. So how much money can you make trading gaps? Well, you gotta make good choices. How do you get to your goal? If it's you wanna make six figures a year, you say I'm good with 100K, like I said, chunk it out, chunk it, $500 a day. That's what you need. You gotta have some kind of discipline, have a plan of action, have a good system, take quality entries, don't over trade, okay? And don't be afraid to not trade if needed. Don't be piggish about targets if your goal is it is for the, you know, like I said, the Tesla. Now that that just had such a huge move Friday. You kind of would have been a pigger if you held it Monday. While it definitely worked and it definitely paid, you you don't want to trade to be a pig. You're not going to take one trade that's going to make up all the losses that you lost ever trading the last five years in the market. I mean, that's just not realistic. You're gonna take quality trades, you're gonna let them play on out, and you're gonna get the big moves because I'm gonna call the trades and you're just gonna get them, okay? And sometimes you'll be in something and it won't have had a monstrous move in the day and then it's gonna gap in your direction and all of a sudden, whoo, and then you'll just make it when you get up in the morning. And that's the beautiful thing, it's about options too. But anyways, you just gotta chunk it out. So you can see $2,500 a week, it's totally reasonable for many, many people. Now, this isn't 400000 a year, but that could be your next goal after that. You make $2,500 a week for a while. Then you step it up to the point where you're making $2,000, $2,500 a day or a train, okay? Any questions here? Anyways, anyone could do this. Most people don't because they just lack focus. But learning from someone may cost you money up front, but it saves you money in the end. And it just does. A lot of people blow up their accounts, lose their entire trading accounts in an attempt to learn how to trade and they never do it. So it's, you know, when you come, if you want to take my class, you're paying me for my time and the information to shorten the learning curve for you so that you can start to make money and be successful and move forward. So the class is this weekend, July 18th and 19th. The deadline to sign up is July 17th. Class is 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $69.99. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. I am doing also the Trends class July 21st. The Gap Options course is July 23rd. And these are two separate courses. The Trends course is $1,000 and includes one month of the room. The class tuition for the Options course is $2,500 and includes one month of the Gap Options newsletter. These are half-day courses. So the strategy, if you want to learn it, the 26 points is in this class, which is a Saturday, Sunday course. Now I am extended the independent day, independent day sales through the end of this week for people that want to take the class this weekend. And I'll go through the specials here and then I'll answer any questions and we'll go back to the market. You can sign up for the Golden Gap course. You get the Gap Options newsletter through the end of the year, the trading room through the end of the year, the trends class, the wealth class, the Gap Options course, for one price, this is $69.99. This is a really nice deal because the class normally is just $69.99 alone. So you get the extra advanced classes if you wanna do options and swing trading, and then you get to the end of the year, which is half year basically, of the room and newsletter. Then I'm also doing this if you're interested in the newsletter, just wanna do options, you can sign up for the newsletter. The price of this is normally $69.99 a year. You can get the Gap Options class and Trends class. Again, those are next week free. And those are good classes to help you manage and trade the options trades, okay? And then I'm doing a separate special just for the Golden Gap course. Sign up for the class. You get the room free to the end of the year for the normal class price, which is $69.99. Normally the room is $500 a month after you take the class, okay? And then I'm doing a couple things here for 50% off the regular classes, the entries course, the gap options course, which is very popular. Um, and I'm offering half off that. That includes one month of the newsletter for $12.50. So again, deadline for all of these specials is Friday the 17th. 
Does anyone have any questions about anything they want to ask me? Anything about gaps, anything about the system, anything at all, or even anything about the market? Eric, I wish you had signed up for the newsletter yesterday. You would have paid already for the newsletter with the Apple trade today. Back, let me pull that up. And it wasn't expensive. I know you said the Tesla was expensive, but. Can everybody see the chart? Oh, this tank too, I didn't look at this since it closed. So what this did today, I know it's, I'm gonna blow this up, but again, it's, it's hard to see this here. Anyways, closed here, 383.68, gapped up this morning, open at 389.06. I called the 400 calls, it went there, that was the dream target, well, almost went there, basically went there, 399.82. And then we also did a day trade in this, it was a nice call. So again, this is a good example, actually, where it doesn't have to go through the strike to make money. We got it early enough in the day, and it went boop, just shot up. Apple made new highs today, look at this chart. Look at that chart. Look at how strong Apple is. Somebody told me there was some news. I didn't read any articles because, again, I was looking at the market stuff, getting ready for the webinar that Apple's now telling people work from home, closing more stores again. That probably, that's all COVID related. Any questions from anyone at all? Kevin, I see you back in here. Do you have any questions for me? How are you doing? Bert, you've been following me for a year, you were gonna do the options letter and then you didn't. I don't know what's holding so many people back. Samir, you just signed up. You're ready to go, you'll get the first trade tomorrow. Yes, you'll get the link for that tonight, Samir. So these are interesting times. Someone asked me and they said to me today in the room, do you think that Everything's gonna collapse, you know, this earnings season because of the COVID earnings, you know, because it's second quarter. And I said, no, no, not everything's gonna tank. So some things will be as expected, some things will not be as expected. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's don't, you know, again, I don't trade based off fundamentals. I looked at the market this morning. I had no idea that the governor of California was gonna close the state today. But I said, we're not going to go on this market today because I just don't think it's good enough. It's just not good enough. So we didn't. And then lo and behold, look what this did. This is a massive reversal here, people. People were trapped today. They were on this market. The market was green up until 1 o'clock. Up until the last three hours of the day. We're, we're, we're holding on here for tonight. Well, we'll wait and see. We, we don't have to make any predict. I don't make predictions where something's going to gap, Samir. I wait till the gap, and then I rate it. I wait till the gap, and then I rate it. So, like, these banks are tomorrow morning. These probably sold off here some today, too, with everything else. But Wells Fargo's tomorrow morning. I'm, I don't know what this does. I'm just going to wait. Like, I don't play it until, like, I shouldn't say never. Once in a blue moon. I will do an option trade into earnings. It's like once a year or something, if that. I don't even know if we've done it at all this year, to be honest with you. I don't predict the gaps. I don't predict the earnings. I predict where it's going to go after it gaps by using the rating system. I can't apply a rating system if I don't see the gap yet. I don't have insider information for how these companies' quarterly earnings are going to be or the reaction that institutional money is gonna to have to that. And sometimes it's not always the same, like you said. Like sometimes you could have a negative report and a positive reaction and it gaps up or vice versa. So I just look at strictly technical analysis. It's advanced technical analysis and the gap. I wait to the gaps formed and then I make a decision based on that. Make sense? And I don't know if you have any questions. I've seen you in here a while. Steve, do you have any other questions? Bert, I don't know if you have any questions. I know you're hesitating about signing up. So these are, these are times to make money in the four quarterly earnings seasons where you really can go after it hard. 
And we're starting that pretty much tomorrow, the bank's report tomorrow morning. So it's it goes pretty much into Labor Day. Then there's a lull. We still train. We still have gaps. And then it picks back up then in October. And then we have the last quarter of the year. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. If you're interested in the class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. If you're interested in a trial for this week in the trading room, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I can send you a trial for the room. And again, the class is this weekend and these are some nice sales that I've extended for people to try to help them get my trades pretty much for 2020. You know, it's, it's good to take the class, it's important to learn the information, but if you can get the trades right away and takes the trades, it definitely helps you do better, make money, and that's obviously what everybody wants to do, ideally. All righty, stay safe everyone out there. Stay safe, wear your mask, be careful. And if you have any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Very good. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone.